Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Dojo Setting. Uh, today we are going to talk about how to set beyond your limit. Uh, more specifically, how to set projects for yourself. So, let's dive in. Really pay attention to the specific goals of that project. So what is it that you're trying to improve on? If you're trying to improve on open-handed grips, set a lot of pinch climbs, set a lot of sloper climbs. If you're not good at body tension, create a lot of body tension in your climbs. If you are trying to improve on your footwork, uh, setting a really powerful climb with good feet isn't gonna help. Uh, if you are really bad at open-handed holds, uh, setting a crimp project isn't really gonna help. Uh, I've, I've heard a lot of different ideas out there as to quick, easy ways of setting something beyond your limit. Uh, the one that I hear a lot is, uh, you know, reach where you're gonna put your next hold and then put it one teen up further than that. And that's, that's great, it works if you're trying to work on your lock off strength. There's all different kinds of projects. There's no one blanket way of this is how you set a hard climb. Um, everybody's different, everybody has different strengths, different weaknesses. You need to assess yours and figure out what it is that's going to challenge you. One of the misconceptions uh, with setting beyond your limit is that the boulders have to be these crazy, wild, crowd-pleasing moves. Generally speaking, when you are setting uh, a project for yourself, the biggest thing is to not overthink it. Uh, to illustrate that point, what I am going to do here, we have a red climb right behind me. It's probably somewhere in like the V2-ish range and I am going to be modifying this climb to be harder. So let's take a look at some options that you can do. One thing you can do uh, to make climbs harder, and this is at any grade. You can do this on V0, you can do it on V2, you can do it on V8. Just rotate the holds. Uh, if you're down pulling on something, turn it a little bit more, and it's gonna make it a little bit harder. A few years ago, a colleague and I were setting a boulder for a competition and the boulder was dependent off of one hold. And we were sort of joking around, if, if the hold was like this, it was V5, it was way too easy. And if we turned it like this, it wasn't climbable. So we kind of had that joke, you know, V5 doesn't go. So rotating your holds can make a huge difference. Uh, what we're gonna do is rotate some of the holds off of this boulder and see what that does as far as the difficulty goes. So it definitely made it harder. Uh, now it's probably in like the V3, V4 realm. Uh, but rotating holds can make all the difference. Play with it, see, um, see if rotating a hold five, 10 degrees makes it really, really challenging for you. What I'm going to do now is take the route that I just climbed and swap the holds out for worse holds. So let's see how that goes. Uh, now we have all the holds swapped out. I did keep the feet the same. Let's just focus on the hands for now. So let's climb it, let's see how it goes. That went pretty well. Uh, nothing had to change, it still worked. It's definitely harder, probably in the V6 realm now. So we started at around V2 bumped it up to V3 or 4, now it's at V6. Let's say I needed to work on open-handed strength. Uh, let's turn this thing into a pinch climb. Okay, uh, now that we have all these switched out, uh, let's try it. Try the move, if you can touch the hold, 
more than likely you can hang on to the hold. You just need to build the strength, build the body tension, build whatever aspect that move calls for. Build that up and you'll be able to do it. One of the biggest mistakes I see a lot of people make when setting projects for them is uh, thinking that the move is too hard and then changing it in some way uh, to make it feel more doable. Just because you can't do a move right off the bat or even in a session doesn't mean that it's too hard. So those are just a few tips of how to set a project for yourself. Uh, again, rotating holds is really easy to do and it can create a lot of crazy body positions. Um, also, not overthinking it, just keeping it nice and simple. Focus on what it is that you are trying to work on and do that. Um, obviously, there's a ton of other things that can go into setting a project for yourself. I think it's also worth mentioning that simulator boulders or simulator routes, uh, routes that are meant to mimic outdoor climbs, they rarely work. It's very hard to capture all the intricacies of real rock. Uh, you know, you can kind of somewhat get close to it, uh, but generally speaking, if you have a project that you're working on outside, trying to recreate it in the gym, more times than not doesn't quite work. So I uh, hope you guys found this helpful. Uh, we got a few more videos coming out real soon. Uh, make sure to subscribe and stay up to date on those. And uh, we'll see you next time.